Hey everybody, Kevin Crouch here with KTX Transport. I want to let you know there is a warehouse here in Waxahachie, located just south of Dallas, with 45,000 plus square feet of space that can help you grow your business. During the pandemic, the supply chain issues that came up, the uh, pressure to minimize your space, send employees home, it really put a lot of pressure on companies that made it hard for you to get your products where they need to go. KTX Transport has kept things moving. Whether it's internationally, over the water, or in the air, or domestically, over rail, in the air, truckloads, expedited services, you name it, Ship KTX can keep logistics moving for your company. Go to ShipKTX.com to learn more. Hey everybody, Kevin Crouch here, Ellis County Weather, and I had originally filmed this uh, out at Rail Yard Park, but unfortunately the cold wind was a little too much for the microphone and it just sounded terrible. So I'm just going to bring it to you here from the downtown office and uh, tell you a little bit about the weekend weather as well as some weekend events that are coming up. The first I'll talk about is the Christmas Movie Festival coming to uh, Rail Yard Park tonight. That's the one I was featuring. And from six to nine, that festival is going on. And the movie Elf, one of my favorites, uh, starts at 7.30. But before that, there will be other festivities as well. There's going to be everything from games, snacks, a pajama contest, a uh, performance by the Little Wranglers, uh, and more going on. You'll want to make sure you dress warm, bring your chairs, your blankets, uh, your parkas, all the, <laughs> all the things you need to stay warm, those hand warmers, whatever the case might be for you to remain comfortable out there because it will be a good time. Elf is such a good movie, right? That, again, starts at 7.30, but the festivities begin at 6, right there at Rail Yard Park in Waxahachie. And there's also uh, another event I want to talk about. I want to make sure I pull up some of the uh, details here. In Alma, now that's just outside of Ennis, just the south side of Ennis. They're almost in Navarro County. On, uh, let me get this address right, it's 171 FM 1183 in Alma. There's going to be a walkthrough, notice I said walkthrough, uh, Christmas light display. And, you know, we go driving through uh, neighborhoods, that, you know, there's everything from just neighborhoods here in Alice County to Interlochen up in Arlington. And you drive through those and that can be fun, but it can also be stressful, right? Because you're, you're trying, you're trying to make sure you stay with the flow of traffic and you're trying to make sure you are slow enough to see everything, but you know, you're also going fast enough to let everybody through and it can be really, really chaotic, but there is a walkthrough Christmas light display and uh, from seven to 8 PM tonight. And this is a thanks to mock construction up there. Uh, there will be soap-based snow. Unfortunately, there won't be any real snow tonight, but uh, there will be over 130,000 lights uh, and about a third of them dancing to music. I love when they're, they're uh, coordinated with, with music and choreographed and that kind of thing. So Saturday, December 17th from 6 to 9, have the walkthrough open for you to see the, the lights. And, uh, okay, so the, same, the 7 to 8 is when Santa will be there. That's an important detail. Santa will be there from 7 to 8, but the event itself goes from 6 to 9. Uh, so there will be a number of photo opportunities and things to see as a part of that. It's all free, but there are donations uh, that uh, they can take to help support this effort, and I would encourage you to do that. But again, that's 11, eight, it's 171 FM 1183 in Alma. I think it also shows as an NS address as well. But those are a couple of the things going on tonight, and you will want to make sure you dress warm. Tonight, we're going to be getting down to near uh, near freezing, if not at or just below freezing, across the area. And, um, you know, in Alma, that's one of those outlying areas I talk about all the time where it can get a little cooler. So Saturday, uh, we're looking at sunny skies, 50 degrees, so we might get a little warmer. It'll be sunny, so it'll be pleasant. But again, Saturday night, we get even colder. We're in low 30s, upper 20s. We won't have the cloud deck to hold in any of that daytime heating. So all that's going to rise up. We're just going to cool everything down Saturday night. And then Sunday, most of the day is dry, but we will have some showers starting later in the day, late afternoon, evening hours. And then Sunday night, we're not quite as cold. We're around 40, 41, 42 degrees. So we are a little bit warmer, 
But that big cool down, uh, big cool down, I should say, uh, is coming in late next week. So make sure you're staying tuned to that. And if you're going to any of these events, whether it be the movie festival tonight or the uh, walk through Christmas lights in Alma tomorrow, dress warm. Make sure you are dressed warm. Make sure you are uh, taking care of the the plants and the pets. Uh, it, it might be pipe wrapping time before long, so we're not quite there yet, but cover the plants, bring the pets in, and if you're at any of those outdoor events, make sure that you are keeping warm as well. So take care out there and stay tuned as I continue to watch the horizon to get more details on that Christmas Day forecast.